Well, I've been spending countless hours on the internet at night looking and researching on trying to decide what I want to do with this gift. And I've finally decided we're going to tear her apart and we're going to rebuild her. So now we're going to tear it down. We got to get the console, fuel tank, seats, everything, front deck, everything's going. And I think everything, we're going to build everything new. And it's going to be a job and it's going to take me a while and it's going to take quite a few videos. So I hope you're ready for the ride. And now I've got all the leaves out of it. It's been setting near the trees and it's just a mess. So first thing I've got to do is get all my fishing stuff out of here. So I've got a ton of stuff I got to get out of here. And I've been trying to clean some stuff up and get it ready to go ahead and pull this center console out in the seat. So first thing's got to go, I'm going to get all my stuff out and get ready to start tearing this thing apart. Well, this was the first big hurdle. I got everything cleaned out of here, and I tell you, I thought all the weight was from water. It was from all my junk. There's everything from planer boards to beetle spins in there. Well, for the most part, I've got everything cleaned out, and that's pretty much all I'm going to need. A Phillips drill, a little piece, a little adapter to get a 3 8 and we're going to start tearing this thing apart. So I'm gonna start with the seat. The seat's gotta go so I can get the fuel tank out. As you can see, it's kind of bad shadows right now. It's getting late in the day, but the fuel tank's gotta go. It's getting old. And we're gonna pretty much replace everything. All these rod holders gotta go. And it's gonna be a job. So I got a bucket. I'm gonna put all my bolts and screws and try to save as much as I can as far as the stainless hardware. Save a little money, but here we go. Well, we're getting ready to get started. And uh, uh, I've been so excited about this. I've been thinking about it. I'm ready to get this thing tore apart and done. But man, here I'm getting ready to start. And I'm telling you what, I got a overwhelming sense of doom coming. That's going to be a ton of work. But I'm excited. But I know what I'm getting into. And it's not going to be parts of it will be fun. But the majority of it is just going to be a lot of work. But we got to do it. It's either trash it or build it. So... Here we go, we're gonna get started. the seat out and if everything goes as easy as that we'll be done in a couple days now right now I'm just out here where I normally park my boat working on it and I've got a carport ordered uh, 18 by 21 carport but I think it'll fit pretty well it's gonna be close but I need something to keep this thing dry but for right now hopefully it'll be here in a week or two but I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing tore down and ready for its arrival so right now everything's just kind of getting thrown out in the side where I parked the boat. Time to start taking the rod holder off. We're getting somewhere we've got all the rod holders off and all most of the rigging 
So here comes the fun part. We got to get this console out. I'm going to go ahead and take all the screws out all the way around it. And that gas tank's got, it's about halfway full. So that's going to be a trick. All right, we got her loose. So now the fun part. I got to, uh, I got a new depth finder this last year, and spent a bunch of time wiring it up and everything, and all that's got to come out. So pretty much everything, I got to pretty much just chop all the wiring out of this thing. It's all getting. You can see these are my battery cables going up, and they're getting really corroded. And it's just time. Some of the stuff is new. Some wiring is new and some is old the main feeders are kind of old so we're going to chop it all out there's no use i'm going to pretty much replace everything but the trick's going to be getting the uh, steering cable through and that's another reason i was kind of going to go ahead and tear this thing completely apart and redo everything because the steering cable's going and the real trick's going to be the uh, controls so that'll be fun all right well i'm trying to get in here and get this control wiring out. And I did all this. You know, I was 16 years old when I did all this. And uh, it's kind of a mess. And this electrical tape is brittle and cracking. It's already cut me pretty good. Up under that fingernail trying to get it off. But we're getting there. It's just a process. Well, I went ahead and cut the line. That needs to be replaced anyway and use the priming bulb to uh, empty the line out so when I jerked it out it didn't go everywhere. <laughs> but this thing, it's not quite as full as I thought. And it's still pretty heavy. Alright, well, I got the gas tank out of the way. There was 15 years of crap up in behind it. And this way I can get up in here and get everything unwired much easier. Alright, so I got this one out, and this video is mainly so I remember how to wire it back up. So, I don't see any distinctive markings to tell me. Well, it's IG and something, but we'll figure all that out later. Alright, and we got the trim gauge out and the uh, warning gauge. So now I've just got to get the steering out and go ahead and pull the controls off. All right, well, I've got everything through but the steering cable. And I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it here from the motor. So I've got to take this nut off here. I've got the nut right here loosened up already. And then take that loose and it should just pull through. All right. And there we go. Yeah. All right, well that's out. So now, the whole console can come out. Yeah. We got the controls out and the cables. I've just got routed around for now. I'll deal with those later. For tonight, it's getting late. I just want to get this thing out, get cleaned up, get some dinner. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a pain, but it wasn't too bad. That took me about two or three hours, and this thing is completely empty. Kind of weird seeing it this way. And just as soon as they get that canopy put up for me, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting some of this out and get an idea of what I'm dealing with. But it's getting dark, and 
it's about time to go to the house. Well, it's the next day and I've been spending all night trying to figure out a few things about this thing. A while back ago, I looked and looked and I never could find if the transom was plywood cord. And last night, I read some stuff that made it seem like it was. So, the only way to find out is to drill it. absolutely is well I drilled two holes and I drilled one at the top and one at the bottom and this is from the bottom I can't tell that there's any moisture in it but it's spider cracked really bad and right here it's swollen a little it just may be a manufactured defect but these bolts are sunk in quite a bit and I don't remember I mean they may have been like that for years, but I don't remember that. And I just think it would be kind of a shame to redo this whole thing, redo the deck and everything, and not redo the transom. So now I get to do some figuring on whether I've got a bunch of plywood, marine grade plywood, but I mean, Kusa would probably be the better bet, but I don't know if I can even get it around here. So back to the drawing board. Well, I've already got most of the bolts out of the deck up here, and I've got the back section disconnected. I'm going to go ahead and take this hinge top off because it's way too heavy. All right. Another chunk down. I got all the bolts loose and this thing I put it in with construction adhesive but I think I got it broke loose so now all I've got to do is get up under here I'm gonna slide it back up maybe good guy all right I got all the bolts out of the trolling motor and time to find a place to store it for a while Well, I have sufficiently killed the skiff. It's just, it's kind of sad. Well, that's going to be it for this video. And I didn't have a whole lot of time this weekend to really get started on it. But next weekend, hopefully I can get a little bit more done. But I'm waiting on that canopy. I'm hoping they'll hurry up and get it here. As soon as they do, that thing's going to be ripped all to pieces. So I hope you like the videos. I'm going to try to do them in somewhat of an order. And just try to get enough content in each video. But it's going to be... Over the course, it's going to take me probably a month or two to get this thing done. But if you will, go ahead and subscribe, push the like button, and there's going to be a lot to come, and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a bit of a daunting task, and I'm trying to, you know, just keep that in mind that it's going to be great when it's done. But it's going to be a lot of work, and I've got big plans. In the next video, I'll probably go over kind of what I want to do with it and which direction I want to head and some of the things. I think it'll make it a lot better. So, hope you liked the video. Please subscribe. See you next time.